We are gathering here today on the traditional unceded territory of Tecumloops Tusquam. Thank you all for coming today. Um, since we are kind of a small group, I'd love to just start with introductions. I am actually Sequim. I am from Bonaparte, which is just about an hour away from here outside of Cache Creek. So that's my community that I grew up in. Um, I actually just finished my term for, I was an elected councillor for about four years. I just completed my second term and have decided to go back to school. I graduated with my Bachelor of Arts in Sociology and Aboriginal Studies in 2017 and started this job right after. So it's been really fun and exciting. Students who are Indigenous on campus come from communities all over Canada. So it's really amazing for them to have a place on campus, Kapluktan, that can be a home away from home for them. Seeing that 10% of our student population is Indigenous, it's really important that they have the supports right from the time they're interested in becoming a student at TRU until they graduate. The first spot we're going to go is just a house of learning um, and check out a couple of spots in there. Come on in. <laughs> this is house of learning, room 190. This is actually one of the really amazing indigenous spaces on campus. Um, this is actually in the shape of a traditional Sequatin pit house or a kukuli, um, they might call it as well. So all of these logs that are up here, there's 495 um, reused pine beetle logs. Traditionally, men would enter from the roof, so there would be a ladder coming in and women would always enter from the main door. There would be a fire in the, fire in the center to keep people warm. This is an amazing space on campus. It holds 300 people. There's classrooms that are held in here. There's different committees. They have the Indigenous grad each year in this room. Um, tons of amazing things. So one of my favorite places and it's always really cool to bring students here. Outside here you can see there are quite a few pieces of artwork just in these um, little showcases and there are local artists. So there's moccasins, um, baskets and things like that that would have been crafted in the area that are really traditional to Sequem Ulu. So Sequem Ulu means the Shushwap Nation. This is another Indigenous space on campus and this is actually where our Indigenous researchers, our Indigenous faculty, our language coordinator, as well as the Indigenous registered counselor on campus. I will point out this artwork that's on the ground here that you probably walk by and don't ever really notice, but these pebbles are actually to represent a stream. There's 17 bands or communities in our entire nation. A nation, we look at First Nations among Canada, similar to how you look at Canada and provinces. So Sequem Ulu is the Shushwap nation, and then we have communities within that nation. So Bonaparte, is one community or one band, just like it would be a province maybe within Canada. So that's the difference. BC has the most First Nations in all of Canada in one province. We have about 135, um, whereas all of Canada has about 350 First Nations altogether. Sequem Ulu ranges from here all the way over to Invermere, up north, um, and to Bonaparte. So Kamloops is definitely the interior nation or community, I guess you could say, um, where we host a lot of our gatherings and things like that throughout the year. We just want to point out Skelep that is up there. Skelep means coyote in Sequatmachin. He is facing the east, so to rise with the sun each morning and just to represent the opportunities that are um, here at TRU with learning and education um, and to represent that each day is a new day in those opportunities as well. So he's looked at as our protector. He symbolizes opportunity and learning. This is our international building. I just really quickly wanted to point out another piece of artwork that is here um, just in the foyer and that is actually in the shape of a canoe. Um, again, another representation of water just on the floor there too. There's also a nice giant piece of artwork in the science building. TRU does have it in their strategic priorities to indigenize the university overall. We're just going to head over to Old Maine. This is the Indigenous or, well, the Sequatum Territorial Marker on campus. So as you can see, there are plenty of pictographs that are on it. Um, historically, this can represent some myth mythological um, happenings that may have happened in the area, and that's why it would be in a specific area. So this is here to represent a territorial marker. Sometimes it can be a boundary marker, um, just depending on what it is. But Canvas is kind of, like I said, a central point in our nation. If you just want to take a look around, you'll see all the beautiful pictographs. You'll see that there is a smudge pot here to represent medicine. There's a canoe behind it. And what this is here, this little space within the marker, is actually a place that people can put um, an offering. So you can offer some tobacco, you can say thanks for having you here, for being a guest, anything like that. Um, or even just leave a little something, um, just to acknowledge that you are here in Sequam Ulu. And as well here, there is the turtle. So a lot of you have probably heard the term Turtle Island. That just represents the world as a whole, where we have 
um, been all these years. And the reason it is here was with the new law faculty and really to represent working together with the indigenous people in the area um, and the, all the learning opportunities that there are in Sukwamulu. Go and spend time with our elders that are in Kapluktan. They're always there hanging out, spending time, and they love having people go and sit with them and just learn, ask questions. There's really no wrong questions to ever ask. I come from a younger generation that I truly just believe in order to work together, those questions are important in order to be able to build a relationship together and have those frameworks. So totally anytime if you have a question for me even, just reach out um, through email or anything like that, stop by the office. But thank you all so much for coming today. Um, I hope you all enjoyed it and that's the end of our tour. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you.